hello all welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last video we have seen a uh, ddc part one which is a uh, ddc overview so we uh, we so in this video i'm gonna explain you uh control ddc settings uh, read ddc information and play diagnostic info information that is 19 uh, 14 and 85 service id so let's get it started name is itself suggest to read DTCs from the ECUs so it is uh, service uh, 19 uh, services used to request stored diagnostic codes so uh, whenever any fault occurs in the vehicle here you can say uh, DTC is stored in the ECU fault code memory and uh, through this 19.01 and 0.2 sub function we can read the DTCs so let's take example I would like to read uh, request all stored DTC uh, from the uh, issues so I am sending this uh, request okay now in response I will get this response 5902 that is 40, 40 plus added and this is the uh, DTC so what what does it mean uh, 4306 AB 20 so it is basically a fault in AC system let's say okay and this third one is communication error in the control module and the last one is issue in the subsystem okay so if i break down this uh the first dtc 43 43 is uh, a dtc category such a power train fault okay and zero this zero six ab and two zero it is a specific dtc such as air conditioning pressure uh, sensor fault okay so similarly cd cd03 uh, is another dc dtc indicating a different fault and 57 57 indicates a fault index and the last one 0 a 95 uh, another stored dtc representing a subsystem fault that is such a fault in a throttle actuator so like this you can uh, you can get the DTC. So here I'm uh, I'm, I'm using only uh, zero two sub function uh, to use zero one sub function. It uh, what it does it uh, read number of DTCs present in ECUs. Okay. So if I go to the uh, so like this, if you have uh, your uh, IVI system or uh, and canoe, so you can uh, do like. This. Okay. So this is the service overview. So this is a just of, uh, I have attached this a screenshot for, you, for your information purpose only. So you can take a screenshot of this. So this is a functional unit inside functional unit. These are the service IDs are stored. So similarly for data transmission, stored uh, transmission, stored data transmission and their service name. And here is the sessions on which session uh, they works and their sub function so here we are uh, we are working for uh, 85 and this two 14 and 19 so it will work for uh, default sessions and so this is so you can take a screenshot and this can help you for uh, for your revision so sometimes in interview they ask about service id and their service name let's say uh 2e they will say what is uh, the service ID of uh, write data by identifier. So you can refer this to E. You can say to E or what is the DTC for clear uh, service ID for clear uh, DTC that is 14, Android DTC 19, and control DTC that is 85. Okay, so like this inter uh, interview questions are made. So in the next one, uh, if I talk about the next one in DTC, uh, yeah, so I have taken this uh, DTC 661AB uh, uh, to your example. So if I break down this DTC structure, so here you can see 61 is representing category, AB is representing fault within the system and 20 is rep rep representing the fault details. So 16 is the prefix uh, that usually indicates a specific model or subsystem in the car. So if I take real world example, it might refer to uh, the uh, AC, a particular sensor or the 
electronic control module and your NAB. AB these characters give more specific details about the fault. So it could represent the exact amount of component or the type of problem such as sensor malfunction or wiring issues. And 20 uh, is a subcode that often narrows down the issue further like the location of the fault or specific conditions uh, where, where the problem occurred. Okay. So uh, if, if this DTC occurs in a modern car, uh, so, so this numbers can vary and this uh, alphabet also varies, but this format will be the same. Okay, so let's say if this DTC occurs in a modern car, it might translate to something like AC for a pressure sensor fault, uh, circuit range or performance issue. This means the air conditioning pressure sensor is not reading values within the expected range. Potentially due to a, a bad sensor, a wiring issue, or malfunctioning AC system. So, like this, next one is control DTC. So, control DTC is uh, mainly, <clears throat> let's say, uh, when we are doing a diagnostic in a vehicle, probably uh, removing the error. So, there is no need to set DTC. Okay, because we are uh, we are doing diagnostics and uh, we are removing the error. So we don't want to set DTC or lock or lock the system or, or, or allow system to lock the DTC uh, in the ECU. So we can disable the DTC. So how can you disable the DTC? So uh, you can use this uh, <coughs> service ID 85. So let's say, uh, say one example. I'm taking this one 8501. Any response? I'm getting this one. C501 positive response. So here 01 is representing on. Okay, so DTC setting is on. So always the DTC setting is on by default. And if you want to turn it off, then you have to give 0 to sub function instead of 01. So it will be off. And you can remove the error when after uh, removing uh, and doing diagnostic and removing the error, you can uh, enable again using the same. Uh, service ID and sub function 8501 and this uh, control DTC has uh, this NRC is 12, 13, 20, uh, 12 sub function not supported, 13 incorrect message then 22 condition not correct. Uh, this NRC uh, I have explained in my previous video. You can go and watch uh, UDS protocol playlist and 31. Uh, NRCs also and the last one is uh, PR DTC 14 so to remove that DTC so let's say uh, to remove the DTC from the system so you will have to give this 14 and this uh, sub functions and in response you will get uh, plus 40 added so this FF this triple FF is uh, nothing but all types of DTC will be removed not a particular one Okay, so all types of DTC means uh, this types chassis related, power distribution system, network lost related, and body related. This I have explained in DTC part one. If you see here, and understanding DTCs and service ID. So these are the four main categories I had earlier explained. So you can watch DTC part one. Okay, so uh. So you you simply give this and this box. So uh, it works only in default and extended sessions. So if you want uh, to check on which sessions it is see here eighty five eighty five here extended session is not uh, present but here it works in extended session and this fourteen and nineteen this both are both works in uh, default sessions here. Okay. and also putting uh, works in extended sessions so uh, yeah so so th that's that's it for the DTC in this video so in the next video I will talk about the last one that is uh, routine control this one routine control service ID is 31 so this control DTC settings we have covered 
clear red DTC we have covered and red DTC we have covered if you have any doubts you can comment down your doubts and I will respond in the comment sections